Hello guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a different tool called Villain. I actually tested it out yesterday. Pretty cool tool. Now today I'm going to make a video because people asked, how do you use the tool? What does it do? And all that good stuff. So I figured I'd demonstrate it. I'll post it and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, you enjoy the content. And if you're returning, welcome back. I really appreciate all the support. So before we actually get started in the tool, what we're gonna be doing is going through the tool. What is it all about? So the purpose of this tool, we can read it up here as well. Villain is a Windows and Linux backdoor generator and a multi-session handler that allows users to connect with sibling servers, right? Which means like other, serv you know, other servers, other VMs, other machines that are running in that same environment. So like I said, other machines running Villain and share their backdoor sessions, you know, handy for working as a team. So say, for example, I have a multi-handler, I can share it with my quote unquote sibling and they can connect to it as well. So we're going to go through this. You could, you've probably seen the video Hoax Shell. This is the same creator, awesome guy. And please support him. You know, he's, he's amazing. He's putting out these tools for everyone. So uh, kudos. So. Uh, let's keep going down the installation and usage. So we're going to pretty much get get the uh, get clone, get the repository directly from GitHub. So let's go ahead and just copy that really quick. I want to throw it in. I want to make sure I'm in the right. Yep. So I want to go ahead and paste that here. And what I want to do now, really quick, is do an ls to make sure it's there. And we have a villain directory here. So let's go ahead and cd to villain. And then we have our uh, same files that contains on the GitHub page right here. So what we're going to do really quick, I'm just going to copy and paste it. We're going to hip three install dash r for the re and then the requirements.txt. So we're going to go ahead and give that a give that a go. So it installs everything that it's needed. And I demonstrated this on a different laptop, so I never installed it here. So we should be golden. So now if I just do I want to I want to do this first, and I want to fix it. So if we do villain, we say access denied because it's not executable yet. So what we're going to have to do is do a chmod. Okay, oh, not that. Let's do villain. Okay. Now if I do, we can see now it's executable. Perfect. So now let's clear that, and now let's go ahead and run it, and now we can see that it's running here. Let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. And just to bring on the screen as well, I want to bring over my Windows 11 machine here. So if I can make this a little smaller so I don't blow anything up. Probably did. All right. So this is super small. Let's see if I can make it bigger. So I just I was just pinging, making sure I can get to the machine prior to the video. And now, what I want to do is show you guys that antivirus, everything is up to date on this Windows 11 VM. So we're all good there. The runtime protection is on. I just want to show you that I'm not doing any fancy tricks in the background before we actually go ahead and run this tool. Okay. So what we're going to do is I want to go ahead and generate a payload now. So what we're going to do is type help if you're not sure about the tool. And you can start seeing the commands that are utilized, right? We're going to do generate um, for an OS. We're going to do Windows and all that good stuff. So yeah, this is if you need any of the commands in the description, it gives you a little bit of, of context there. I want to go ahead and clear this. Let's start from scratch. Let's go ahead and type generate tab. And I want to do OS equals, right? Because we have to, and we're going to do Windows, right? And then we're going to do a, the local host is going to equal, I'm going to put ETH zero because you can do the IP address or the interface, right? And then I want to go ahead and I want to, I want to obfuscate it as well. So I want to go ahead and type that in. Okay. So here is the payload. So what I want to do is it's, it's copied. So I want to go ahead and bring, 
whoops, not that, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and bring open the Windows 11 machine and just paste that there. And once I hit enter here, watch what happens on the left-hand side over here. So uh, let's enter. Give it a moment. I'm not sure if it's thinking or something is jacked up. There you go. Okay, so it's established. Okay, you can see here. So what we're gonna do here is type sessions and we can see our session on Windows 11 admin. So we currently have a active session on that machine. So we're interacting with it. So what we can do is take this session ID, copy this, and we can pop a shell. So if we type in shell, that session ID, now we're on this machine. Take that little thing at the bottom. So we're on this machine here, right? So we can just type in the Windows commands, like for example, who am I? Or Windows 11, let's see if I can hit clear here. Okay, so who am I? I'm Windows 11 admin on that machine. So we can do things like that user, see what we're rocking with over there, admin, administrator, guest, etc. We can do system, well, system info, see if we can get to pull the info for that Windows 11 machine. You can see it here. It's running a hypervisor, blah, 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 because it's running in, uh, excuse me, virtual box, and all that good stuff, the time, the boot time, all this good stuff. So you can see it's Windows 11 Pro, and yeah. So let's go back to the Windows 11 machine really quick. So I can show you that this is still on and it's it bypassed it. And this, today is the 28th, I believe. Yeah, Monday the 28th. And uh, so as of today, this 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 is working. This is really, really cool stuff. So yeah, this is pretty much concludes the video. So if you have any questions, obviously if we can get deeper. A deeper dive into it, but I just wanted to give you, you know, the, the basics. And what I'm probably going to do is because I, I might get the question, okay, how do you get this payload onto the Windows 11 machine? So, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to test this today. I'm going to create a file on my Kali box and I want to name it PS1, like a PowerShell script. And I want to put that payload inside there. And then I want to run a web server, just like you would, you know, Post it, uh, post that uh, web server, or put the data that resides in that web server, and sh you know send that out to to a client, and see if they click on it. When they click on it, it can execute the payload. So I want to give that a go later on today. I just wanted to make this little video on how to use this tool. I think it's super super cool. I really really enjoy this tool. You know, kudos to the creator. You know, much love, much respect. And um, keep doing what you're doing. We're really enjoying this. I really enjoy these these tools. So uh, kudos. So yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. Uh, you know, down below. Please, like I said, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to help. And until next time, have a good day, guys.